It is actually happening. This is not a drill. My egg is finally hatching. I've been cycling my little legs off out here. Waiting for this damn thing to hatch. And it is finally happening. I think we have seen the grass dragon that comes out of this thing. And we have. <laughs> so, it's a Droot. Oh my god, I love this thing's name. So, I guess that's a pretty cool addition to the team. We're going to give you a nickname. I have to name you Groot. I am absolutely obligated to do so. So, you are now my Groot. Oops, not, not Grot. So, it's probably just going to be level 1. Assuming the game is not nice to me. It is just a level 1. Alright, so, it's a dragon grass type. Ooh, timid nature, which is... Uh, could be decent if it's a special attacker. Too early to be able to tell. It has the, has the harvest ability. It may create another berry after one is used. And we have growth and vine whip. So I guess we might as well just stick the EXP share on this thing. I don't know if it's ever going to be worth it. Because, I mean, we kind of... I'm going to need to get it to like level 60 off an EXP share. Which is probably never going to happen. But, you know, we're going to stick that on you for now. Also, uh, so I have Ballin with it. I didn't end up training this thing. I... I honestly, I was going to, and then I realized it has 27 special defense. As I looked up this thing's stats to get a little bit of information, just to see if this thing was even worth it, I realized that uh, you breathe on this thing with a special attack and it dies. So I don't think I'm going to end up training it, but uh, Ballin can come with us for now. And then other than that, we have Troll at level 51. The really, really unfortunate thing I found out about this thing is that it actually doesn't learn play rough unless you stop it from evolving... Um, the for like as its base stage it learns play rough at level 51 if it's unevolved but of course since i evolved it we don't get that which is unfortunate but we have a uh, beat up brick break bulldoze and hone claws i decided to go with hone claws because uh, i mean i don't know it could be good to get a little sweep going with this guy also we just taught it bulldoze from tms but other than that we have beat up and brick break as our main move so one other thing to note about this little fella is that I did actually go and grab the evolution item for this thing. So, check it out. We have the Mystic Stone now. What I did was I went to uh, one of the towns back in the past and I gave uh, a lady a lemonade and she gives us a Mystic Stone in return. So we can use that on our buddy here and we're probably about to get real buff. I would assume this thing just gets nice and swole. Yep. From the silhouette, you can already tell. Uh, so this is probably gonna really help us out I assume this thing is pretty damn good it has a really unique typing and oh my god though why did they make him so ugly trollger trollger what the hell is it's freaking Shrek alrighty then well we used our last mystic stone let's check this thing out uh, it's a level 51 I feel like it could probably hold its own I, I hope at least Ooh, we have intimidate now 150 attack that is insane not the best special defense but uh, you look at this boy so we are ready to continue. Uh, where we left off was we were kind of continuing down from this area. We have a bunch of different towns we can go to. Uh, so we can head over to Sario Town, and then we have Crystal Cave, and then also Snow Peak Village. So we're just working our way down this way. And let us hope that we don't run into anything too scary. I think we'll probably be okay, though. We lost Donna last episode, if you missed that. RIP, the homegirl. Uh, that was real unfortunate. That one HP live, and then it hit us with a psychic attack. That was eh, not fun. But, uh, alright, so, let us work our way down yonder. Oh, we have a bunch of these bunnicks. Friggin' tricks are for kids. So, Intimidate is going to be pretty helpful. We're actually a bold nature, so we have decent physical defense already anyway. Troll is about to be an absolute monster. So, I think this is where we had the rival battle on this bridge here. So, that means... Here at Route 17, we can actually catch a new wild Pokemon. So let's see, our first encounter on Route 17 is going to be a Husk Pup, which we do, in fact, already have one of you little guys, so we're just going to run from you. And then we also have a full restore here, so that's pretty nice. Thank you for that, we will definitely take that. What else do we got in this grass? Alright, second try is a little Rudolph. Oh, it's a shiny Rudolph, too! All right, that is extremely lucky. Well, our legal first encounter is a shiny Moofork. <laughs> Should I try to bulldoze it? I'm afraid to kill this thing. Do I just huck balls at it? We got shinies for days out here. Let's just go for an Ultra Ball from the start. Young Rudolph. 
I don't know why your name is Moofork, but uh, that's fine. Ooh, it's going to bounce. So, uh, you know, I could probably hit this thing with a bulldoze. Let's try to go for... We'll wait for it to uh, get on the damn ground, and then we'll bulldoze it. Not going to do much because of the Intimidate and we're higher level. I think this thing should live... Oh, geez. If I kill this, I'm going to feel really bad. Oh, perfect. It knocked it down into red HP. That's what we're looking for. Okay, Icicle Crash with the crit. Damn you. All right, let's uh, let's Ultra Ball you, buddy. I can't believe we got a sh another Shiny. I was really unlucky on the Shinies early game, and now they seem to all be catching up to me. Well, we got ourselves a Move Fork, and <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, Groot's going to grow a bunch of levels right now. Learn to Faint. And Leech Seed. And level 9. Nice. All right, so it's an Ice Normal type. This, is, this thing hates fighting moves. Moofork are a withdrawn society of Pokemon. As they keep to themselves on snowy mountains, only hikers would see them in more than a glimpse. Well, I just caught one, so we saw it in more than a glimpse. Uh, let's just name you Rudy after Rudolph. Might have to, uh, I mean, I don't know. I just like shinies. I was going to say we might have to bring this thing, but I don't know if we really want that typing. Well, that's kind of cool. Anyway, we have a trainer here. We should probably also heal up our buddy Troll. We need, do need to get this thing some more levels, so we're going to try to use this as our main... Pokemon for the majority of these battles here. I don't know how many we have until the next city, but it's getting colder here. Put on some warm clothes. You know, I don't actually have the option to change my damn clothes, but uh, all right, you got an Avil Deer. All right, so that's, that is, I'm assuming, the evolved form of our Rudy. It's kind of cool. We'll just give you a brick break because if you're anything like your younger sibling, you're not going to enjoy this. Oh, of course we get flinched. Damn it, troll. Are you trolling me again? Okay. Brick break. Right to the chest. Gonna absolutely destroy you. So we have the Lucky Egg on. Um, so that should help us a little bit in growing levels. We get a bunch of XP from that. Trying to learn Razor Leaf. We might as well just upgrade this thing's moveset as we go. We never really know what this thing's gonna learn. We'll get rid of Vine Whip as Razor Leaf is a little bit better with a higher crit chance. So we shall take it. Level 12, 13. Trying to learn Dragon Rage. That only does 40 damage. It would be useful for its level now, but not really for what we're... I mean, the main goal is to get it higher level. Next is a Batik. So that is the freaking little flying bat boy. Let's go into happy for that thing. We're about to get trigger happy out here. What, is, what type was this Batik thing? Oops, accidentally just used Swords Dance. Well, you're about to get destroyed now, young Batik. As you uproar at me, so just go ahead and yell. Causing an uproar. Please stop that. I always think of Whismer when I see Uproar. Is that anybody else? I feel like that was just the first Pokemon I ever saw use it. But all right, down that thing goes. We go to level 59. We're at level 16. Getting okay. Next is a Husk Old. We can go right back into Troll for this thing. Them boys are pretty frail. And you know what? I could actually bring back my my Husk Pup. I think it's probably pretty close to evolving. Plus, well, I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of. It's really. It's really frail, and I also just don't need more ice types, but I do like Huskold. I think it has a cool design. Nice little brick break, gonna knock you out. Bunch of experience, Groot gets 3,000, my god, trying to learn Recycle. This thing really likes recycling. And now level 18, 19, we're gonna be there in no time. Warm enough? Kinda. Alright, let's just go for another Super Potion. Might as well just use these Supers while we got them. Get you back to almost full. That's probably good enough. All right. Continuing. What to do? Oh, we got another terrainer here. Is there anything over this way? There's got to be... Yep, there is a hidden item. It is TM07 for hail. Freaking useless, and that was annoying because now I have to go all the way back around. But we made it without encountering anything. What's up, buddy? My puffles are the best. Let me show you. So he's got a little... Uh, some, some puffles. Show me your puffles, Dwight. He has, oh, that is a Cyflock, my friend. Uh, well, that's actually decent for us because we can just go ahead and beat you up because you are a Psychic Birdie. Hit this with a Tri Attack. Interesting. We don't really like Special Attacks too much. That even did a decent amount of, uh, a solid chunk at least. Although beat up, he's going to knock you out. Sorry, you beautiful little birdie boy. We did grow to 52 off of that. Looking nice. Groot, level 21. Try and learn Bullet Seed. Okay, interesting. Uh, we'll get rid of Faint for that, I don't know. I wonder if this thing, what it evolves into. Next is the Puffle. 
Uh, so the Puffle is the Ice Flying type, right? So we might as well... You know what, let's actually switch here. We're just going to play it safe. We're going to go into Rancho. I don't want Puffle to bust out any crazy shit on us. We've had little random birds that don't seem threatening do very well against us. So you know what, we're just going to flamethrow you. See how you like that. I bet you Puffle has a really cool shiny variant. It seems like it would. Kind of like a little two cannon. Next is a Dove Heart. Uh, we'll just stay in against the Dove Heart because... Ronja can just absolutely roast the hell out of this thing. And wow, it lived it. It's got a Mystic Wave? What the hell is that? Not very effective, whatever it was. But drops our special defense. And another Flamethrower is going to do the trick. Alright. Groot grows to 22. No, my Puffles. You only had one Puffle. What do you mean your Puffles? This guy's fucking tripping. Alright, we're going to Super Potion you again because we do want to ensure that you're... At peak performance level, buddy. So now we shall head down. This guy's running around. I love leaving footsteps in the snow. That sounds like a great way to stay in shape, friend. Eugene here has two Pokemon. You got a Snow Wrong. Ooh, whoa, okay. A little snowman guy. Interesting. Well, we'll give you a, uh, give you a Brick Break. I guess you're just a nice type. Oh, it's Shadow Ball. Are you a ghost? Is this a haunted snowman? So we take Shadow Ball nicely, and yeah, Brick Break doesn't affect us. That's actually a really cool concept. I like this thing. Young Olaf over here. Well, let's just give you a beat up then, buddy. Why would you go for Shadow Balls? I know you have an ice move. I know you got one somewhere. Beat up is going to do the trick because we're able to hit six times, which is nice. And down you go, Snow Wrong. <laughs> nice name. All right, solid experience there. Group getting some levels as well. Also hurt by some hail, knocks us down to 100. Next is an Aurorai. No idea what the hell an Aurorai is. Have we seen that before? We're just going into Ranja because it's got to be some type of ice type, so we're just going to burn it. Aurorai. Oh, yeah, we have. It's this little fucking mouse thing. Of course we have. This was the thing that I was, um... I was like, oh, look at this cute little guy, and then it almost proceeded to, like, destroy my team. Those things are fucking scary, man. We're just going to flamethrow you. Not going to play any games today with you, Mickey Mouse. Man, Eugene has been defeated. Your footsteps are too big. And uh, it looks like, ooh, we've arrived into Sario Town. Nice. Oh, and the gang is all here. we got Rodney and the Professor. And some weird stone tablet stuff going on. Hey, Hayden, come over here. What the hell is happening? I guess the entrance to Crystal Cave isn't cleared yet. Hopefully it will be soon. I want to get my next gym battle. Anyways, Professor Pinewood is here with his assistants. Apparently he has some new information to tell us. Yes, I do. We're doing more research on the legend of Solaran and Lunaro. And it leads us here. This is the location where Solaran and Lunaro were sealed away. Really? You mean here in Sario Town? Yes, right here. See these stones in the center of town? They're not just decorations. This is the, I guess you can say, machine that opened the portal that sealed them in. Wow, but how does it work? The five pillars around the center seem to be where the elemental stones need to be placed in order to, for the gate to be opened. Luckily, we have one of the stones. But only if all five stones are placed in the correct order. So without all the stones, the gate cannot be opened. Good thing Hayden has the core stone. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no way either of the teams will open it. That's right, Rodney. Oh, also, we've locked, lo we've located the Sea Temple. Oh, where is it? It seems the reason no one could find the Sea Temple is because it's, in fact, underwater at the Rainbow Reef. Team Solar and Team Lunar don't have the Sea Stone. And as far as we know, they don't know where it's located. So we have the advantage. It's better to get the Sea Stone... Before they do, they might find it, so we can't take that chance. So Hayden and I should head to Rainbow Reef. Hate to get you kids involved in this, but yes, I mean, I'm, I've been pretty involved already, buddy. I need uh, the two of you to go to Rainbow Reef and dive underwater. There's a cave somewhere in there that will take you to the Sea Temple. You can count on us. Wait, how are we supposed to go underwater? You got some scuba gear for us? With this. A snorkel? What the f we can't go underwater with a fucking snorkel, buddy. You can, like, breathe on the surface of the water, but okay, we'll give that a shot. Use this on dark water spots, and you'll be able to dive underwater. Thanks, Professor. Come on, Hayden, let's go. We'll travel together. Just tell me when you're ready to leave. Nice, so we don't have to actually have to journey there. We can just talk to him, and uh, he'll bring us there. So that's really cool. Let's check out some houses while we're here. What's happening, old guy? I'm a big fan of Rakoto's starter Pokemon. When I was younger, I've learned how to teach them in the ultimate move. Starter Pokemon need to be very happy for sure. I don't have my starter anymore because I killed it very early on. So we can't get the ultimate move. I wonder who built this gate to lock Solaran and Lunaro. No clue, buddy. It was the freaking Mayans. 
We are going to get a nice little heal up because our troll buddy does in fact need it. Young Shrek. I should have named it Shrek. Thank you, my lady. And yeah, so I guess we'll explore around a little bit before we go talk to Rodney to bring us there. Wonder what other creatures lie out there in the universe. Are there Pokemon on other planets? Other dimensions? Interesting. This lady woke as hell. We have a nice little quaint cabin. What's up, buddy? Releasing an aura with dark thoughts. Sounds great, doesn't it? Here, you should try it. And we got TM97 for Dark Pulse. Very cool. One of my favorite moves, hitting your target with an aura imbued with dark thoughts. It's actually a really cool move. Dark Pulse, I've always, I've always liked me some Dark Pulse. So I do believe this town is pretty damn small. Hello there, trainer. I have unique berries grown specifically on offer that you can't find anywhere else. $2,000? You know, it might actually be a good idea for us to pick up a Yachi Berry if we end up using that on our Grass Dragon. That could be nice, but we're going to wait. We're going to hold off. I can't justify $2,000 on a damn berry, but it might be good if we do end up using that Dragon because we could potentially be able to live an Ice move, but... Sup, buddy? I like to share my knowledge with young trainers. They train fighting-type Pokemon and help them become the best that they can be. Oh, you don't have a fighting type in your party. I, mean, I never have the type that these people are talking about. It's annoying. There's a lot of the, a lot of history here in Sario Town. Here we have the Creators Hub. Pokemon fan games are cool. Ooh, so it looks like the programmers put themselves kind of in a location here. That's actually pretty cool. What is going on over here? A lot of a lot of people. What uh, what are you doing, buddy? Hello there. My name is Water Trainer, but you can call WT if you want water trainer I'm the creative leader of this game I've created all the Pokemon sprites characters most of the tile sets and the story it's been years in the making we're finally here are you ready to face the one who began all this whoa we're about to battle this guy what the hell all right well then we have to battle game creator water trainer and dude he probably gave himself some crazy shit oh geez he has four Pokemon he leads off with a gecko so level 49 this is actually decent for us and that is because it's a psychic type, but I'm just so afraid of what the fuck this thing might have. Uh, we could go for beat up. It doesn't have the ability that change changes type or what is that? Um, don't really feel comfortable switching into anything. I could go into Ronja and just Shadow Ball it. You know, Troll only being level 52, I feel like Gekons have screwed me up in the past. So you know what? We're gonna switch into Ronja and we're just gonna. Shadow Ball. Oh my Jesus, it has a Gecko Knight? It's a fucking Mega. This guy gave himself a Mega Gecko. And it literally just changes colors. Oh my god. So we're getting trolled the hell out of here. That's probably a safe option for us. It's gonna now Ice Beam. Hey! Oh, it's gonna transform into the Ice type. Okay, perfect. We made the call on that. Switching into Ranjo is the right move. I guess. I mean, even. I feel like the Ice Beam would have fucking killed Troll. That shit. We do not like special attacks. All right. So now we can just Shadow Ball. Oh, fuck. It has Shadow Ball, too. Oh, no. It's faster? I'm level 58. Hello? Don't kill me, please. Yes, we live it with 34. Oh, my God. That could have been so bad. This thing is fast as hell. It's I mean, obviously, it just gets a boost because it's mega. But, bruh. I thought we were just about to lose Ranja. Kuhu goes to level 25. Trying to learn Sweet Scent. Uh, it's going to be a no for me, dog. What else does this guy got? Next is an Ella Stomp. Um, elephant boy, I'm gonna go into happy. If it's anything like a Don fan, we're gonna have a good time. Ella Stomp, have we seen this before? Hello? I don't think we have. Oh my god, we have definitely not seen this thing. Look, he's got a little big old mouse ears. This thing seems like it would be ground type. It's only level 49, so we're gonna give you a Scald. It has water absorb. Of fucking course it does. And it has earthquake as well. Why would you have water absorb? What the fuck? Okay, um, how about an icicle crash? So we can take another earthquake from it as long as we kill. Oh my god, it didn't die? Oh, we got the flinch though. Wow, that might have just saved my ass. It, how did you live that? What kind of defense is this thing working with? My god, it probably just has a, like, it's gotta have a bunch of HP. But, okay, we knocked that down. Two to go. Next is in Aurora Eye, so. We know that we fucking hate these things. Is that the, um... I think that thing's electric type, right? Oh, Jesus. We're gonna need to go into... We're gonna need to go into Ranja here. And I'm just gonna try to heal up and at least 
scout out how much damage this thing is able to do. Ooh, I'm afraid. I am afraid of these little guys. Let's hyper potion. Okay, let's see if we can take at least one attack. We can fire off a hard hitting flamethrower on it. But we'll get back to full first. And this thing is going to hit us with a dusty dash. Is that a ground move? Ooh, it is super effective, but we take it nicely. Love to see it. All right, let's just hit you with a flamethrower. Now it's going to frost breath. Um, so ice electric, is that what this thing is? I, I forget, honestly. It seems like it would be a little Pikachu clone. Flamethrower is not quite going to knock it out, though. What? Oh, it has a focus sash. Dude, this guy's coming at me with heat. We're going to hyper potion again because I am afraid. I did not expect to battle the game creator right now, but... Uh, Shit happens. Okay, he's just gonna frost breath again. That is good because we'll end this matchup with a little bit more health. That was even a crit. And we'll finish it with a flamethrower. Now it's gonna dusty dash again. I don't know why you're not doing that more. It seems like a little, a little bit of a better option for you. But down goes ye old Aurora. Next is a fan sheet. Yeah, it's gotta be that ghost. It's it's a ghost type. I think we've seen the pre-evolution of this. We're going to bring in Dracula because we can crunch it. Yep, we have definitely seen this pre-evolution. Uh, let's just give you a nice little crunch, buddy. You're probably not going to like that. It's a pretty cool design, though. Yep, crunch does knock it out. And we have done it. Get ourselves a bunch of experience. Groot is now level 27. Not bad. Got 5,000 bucks from him. Thanks, friend. Good luck for the league. Maybe we m we'll meet again. <laughs> Am I about to battle all these people? I'm afraid. I'm going to go back and heal, and then we'll talk to the rest of them. Maybe it was just that one creator guy that we have to battle, but just in case we have to battle more people, we're going to come at him prepared. So <laughs> let's get a nice little heal up here. And uh, this is interesting. Battling the game creator. He definitely gave himself an overpowered mega. The Gekkon is luckily... Luckily, he was in a higher level. That could have been really bad. Also, we should switch out Troll, because if shit gets hairy, we're going to want to have uh, Happy in front just in case we come across some more crazy ass megas. The worst part is when I just don't know like what the types are of new things. Hello, and you are? Hayden is your name. You look similar to all the other boys and girls who are coming to our creator's hub. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. My name is Chai Tao, but you can call me Tao for sure. One of the two creators of this game. I've done all the evening and eventing, not evening, eventing and coding. Really worked hard on the game in my free time for over eight years. I'm really proud of that we finished. I'm a big Pokemon fan since the beginning with the Pokemon Blue and Red Edition. It was always my dream to create a own Pokemon game when I met Water Trainer on the internet. My dream came true. So enough talk, I think you're not here to talk about my life. You like to battle, don't you? I'm not a talented Pokemon trainer, but thanks to our stat team, my party isn't that bad. Jesus, we do have to... I don't even know if I want to fucking battle these people. I'm going to say no to that guy. Do it, do. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ev Evgeny. Created the battle animations for the game. Hope you like them. Okay, we don't battle you. Hey there, Hayden. Welcome to the Creators Hub. I'm Cord. I make things out of pixel art so players can have their favorite Pokemon, follow them around while they collect gym badges. I already got six from this region. How about you? Wow, you're really on your way. Maybe I'll see you later then. Interesting. My name is Sola. I did a lot of testing for the game. Come back to add, come back to as the champion of Rakoto and we can have a battle. Okay. Hello there. If you're wondering who handles the Pokemon statistics and trainer teams, that's me, Zero Breaker. It's a shame that NPC trainers can't pull off more complex gimmicks, isn't it? <laughs> Good luck with your journey regardless. This is really cool. I'm Butt Juice, one of the, <laughs> the bug testers of this game. During my off time helping around Solar Light and Lunar Dark, I follow thunderstorms all around Rakoto looking for this one Pokemon. Come back for a battle if you've battled the Elite Four. I found what I'm searching for until then. Interesting. This guy's got a T-Rex thingy. I'm Oral, from the southeast of France, and I know everything about Pokemons in this region. I work for the game as a tester on the Pokemon data. I can see your determination in your eyes, but you're not strong enough to fight me now. So I guess after, if we come back as a champion, we'll be able to battle him. We have Psycho here. I've created 80% of the music in this game. Would you like to battle? I'm going to go ahead and say no. I honestly don't think I should battle these people right now because I'm afraid. And uh, I don't... I mean, after that first battle, shit could have gone wrong. I'm, we're going to put Troll back in front. We'll come back and battle these people eventually. But, uh, I mean, at least we battled the creator guy. Anyway, let's talk to Rodney now. He's going to take us to go do some stuff. We are ready to go. So we'll use my Budsaur to fly to Rainbow Reef. How come you don't have to use the service whistle? This guy actually gets to use his Budsaur. But here we have the Rainbow Reef. So here we finally are. What is happening? 
wonder where we have to dive. I think there are more spots where you can go underwater. And yeah, they got them people just chilling right here. Hello? How'd they get here so fast? Grr, they're already on it and ahead of us, man. Need to get to the sea temple before they do. Oh shit, are they about to battle me? What are you doing here? It's the pesky kids again. You are so annoying. Have to get the sea stone. I'll distract these grunts while you get underwater. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we dive right here. Or right there. Let's try right here. So I guess we go ahead and surf on it first. And then we can now go ahead and bust out the snorkel. And uh, now we're underwater. I guess underwater counts as a new route, technically. So we'll go ahead and say that we can catch the first thing we come across, which is a kinip. Which is actually kind of cool. Okay, what's happening, kinip? We are going to intimidate you. And we should probably try to catch this thing. I don't know what I want to weaken it with, though. Seems like a bad idea to try to weaken this thing. I don't know what type you are. I, I don't want to kill you. I'm just going to try to throw an Ultra Ball. I don't know if I really want to use this thing, honestly. So I might as well actually just try to weaken it. But but with what? Or we just catch it for... Yeah, or we just catch it without even weakening it. All right, we got ourselves a Kinip. Young Catnip. It is a water poison type. Shifts themselves so the attackers bite on their venomous spikes. Even with all the spikes ripped out, Kinnip can grow them back in a few hours. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and name you... Catnip. Because why the hell not? Alright. Cool. Well, we got ourselves a uh, an underwater Pokemon, which is fun. And I guess this is where we're supposed to go, maybe? We can go up here? Is this... Flittering down from above. Uh, we'll go up here and see if this... Ooh, it looks like we got to the right place. And we see them. So, guys, we are going to continue next time. See what these uh, freaking bad people are up to. Probably no good. And uh, it shall be interesting. But anyway, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.